I'm sitting here in my living room bringing you a video blog that the Lord laid on my heart. I'm sitting here underneath the table so you can't see that I'm still in my pajama pants. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to um, just share a little bit with you as I as we've been going through the God Size Dreams. And even yesterday I wrote a post about your fears with your God Size Dreams and what they can, um, how those fears can come and how God's perfect love casts out fear. I... This, even last night and even this morning, I woke up and I was just, those fears overwhelmed me. It's funny, when you write about something, then the Lord says, do you believe it? And the Lord spoke to me this morning and reminded me that He is the God who made the mountains, moves the mountains, and manages our lives' mountains. But that the best way to stand firm in that is to guard our hearts, as I read about in Jesus Calling yesterday and today, through trust and thankfulness powered together. And so I just wanted to encourage you this morning with two scriptures and just a reminder that no matter what is uh, giving you the jitters in life or that you're afraid of in your God-sized dreams or your family or just even turning on the news and watching it, whatever is making you afraid this morning, um, to put your eyes back on the King of Kings and Lord of Lords who moves the mountains, manages the mountains, and made the mountains um, through Isaiah 26 too, which encourages us. Um, I'll read it here to you. It says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. So just reminding you this morning that God is trustworthy and because if you are keeping your mind on him and trusting him and you power that with thankfulness which is sometimes um hard to do but it can be a practice that we learn to help no matter what you're going through and that is philippians 4 and it says in verse 6, In everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Now yesterday when I got my cute little shirt stuck in the zipper of my cute little jeans, I wasn't feeling very thankful. But then I just had to laugh and laugh because I was thinking to myself, I just love God's sense of humor and how he is probably looking down from heaven laughing with me. And so I just whispered a prayer of thanks. So just practicing thanksgiving and trust today can make any mountain, any fear um, seem small when you look at the hands of who is controlling our lives. So I just wanted to encourage you in that today that if you're discouraged to keep your eyes on the one who you can trust. Hope you have a great day.